Okay, so it's been a couple weeks since I've given an update, but I've been working non-stop on this, I swear, for the most part. Uh, obviously we got the tank in, and the majority of the plumbing, not 100% of it, obviously that's not hooked up, but the bulk of it. Um, also, we got the propane tank in, and let's see if we can find a spot where we can actually see something. Unfortunately, I don't think we can. Um, well, you can kind of see two really shiny silver nuts. Uh, if you know what the bottom of this looks like, actually, I think on the other side we'll be able to see it better when I try and show you the battery box. But basically, I have a long piece of angle iron running about, I don't know, maybe six floor joists. And the angle iron's tacked into every single floor joist. And then the tank itself is bolted into the angle iron. So hopefully that can support 100 pounds of explosive gas. The other side, well, we have several hundred pounds of inert lead, so I'm not sure which one's more sensitive. If anyone uh, is a mathematician and can tell me uh, how much weight those things can hold, that would be awesome. Uh, so we have been stubbing in plumbing and putting in electrical boxes and laying wire. There's some of our electrical boxes. And, oh, yeah, so uh, I've been kind of mocking up where uh, the wood stove, gas range, pantry, refrigerator, cabinets, all that is. Partially so I know where to put plumbing, sink, all that other fun stuff, washer. Uh, so yeah, I've just been stubbing everything in. Uh, I got some 12.2 Romex, some 12.3 Romex, some 12.3 Up Armored Romex. That way uh, the armor would go from like the first box down underneath the bus and then to our inverter area. Which somebody said it might rust, but I'm hoping to do a little spray foam down there which hopefully is impervious to water, but uh, again, if anyone has input, go ahead and let me know. Oh, let's see if we can see down here. Uh, I hope you guys aren't getting too motion sick. Okay, okay, so you can see the floor joist a little better. It's kind of like um, bleachers, where it has the little C with the lip on the bottom. So obviously if I were to bolt just into the bottom of that, that is probably pretty weak. But if you take the strength of all of them and bolt them together with heavy angle iron, one, it prevents deformation, and then, kind of like sewing, you're using all the, the strength of all the stitches rather than just one to uh, hold whatever you put in. So for the battery box, uh, one, two, and three or more. Uh, we'll have hard tie-ins up to this uh, main I-beam, which I completely trust. And then for one corner, I may be doing another one of these joist tie-ins. And again, hopefully, uh, actually you can see a hole right there. I'm going to be running the up armor Romex through there and then tucking it up in here and then going back to the, uh, uh, the I-beams. Again, hopefully I'm not making you guys too sick. And then basically I'll just be running along with those cables or tying it really close to the I-beam and uh, spray foaming over it, which would hopefully help give it some resistance to moisture and the like. Uh, it's actually pretty good weather today. It's been in like 100, 900, whatever which working in a steel tube in 100 degree heat in the shade is, uh, yeah, it's been slow going. And I'm going partially nocturnal on my building, so, which hopefully it doesn't annoy the neighbors too much. Anyway, uh, if anybody have any input, feel free to leave comments. See you guys later.